Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Hoy. In this video I'm going to solve another quadratic using the quadratic formula. Again, you want to plug in um, your B values here and here, your A values here and here, and the C value there. You'll see those numbers plugged in here. Um, in our function we've got an A value of negative 1. Anytime you see a negative x squared, that's really a negative 1. That negative 1 can go here. Uh, we've got negative 4 is the B value. Again, that's going to go here and here. And the C value is negative 7. That'll go there. So um, the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. We simplify that. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. Um, now, this gets a little complicated here. You want to think of this as negative 4 times negative 1 times negative 7. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Positive 4 then times negative 7 is negative 28. Down here we've got 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. So we simplify and we get this. The most challenging part of this question, in my opinion, is multiplying these three negative numbers, so definitely take your time on that step. Once you're here, you'll notice the question's almost over, and that's because when we simplify 16 minus 28, we get negative 12. In a previous video, I mentioned that if you have a negative discriminant, you're going to get a no solution situation. That's because you can't find the square root of a negative number using the real number system that we that we use. So what we're left with here essentially is just the answer of no solution once we determine this. Uh, if you have a no solution question, I would definitely double check, go back over your work. There's not as many steps to a no solution problem, so it should be easier to do. Um, however, again, can't really go further in this question. We can just leave this answer as no solution. 